Once the fire is going, the fire is going. So stop investing your thoughts. Stop rethinking about why, why it would not work. Don't stop the fire before it even started really growing. Today, I sit down with Master Xie Hong Yi and we talk about surrounding yourself with the people who light that spark inside of you. And it's a certain type of person. Luckily for me, I'm surrounded by them all every single day. So this video dives in exactly why and how you can find the right person to spark you. Today's video was made possible by mulliganbrothers.com where you can get the Not A Journal. A journal that is designed to get stuff done where you reaffirm your goal, your yearly goal, your life goal, your weekly goal, your daily goal, every single day and then you break that down. Use code journal for 10% off. And also guys, the new Inspire Change Symbol t-shirts have just dropped. So go check them out with the link in the description. And it has the huge symbol on the back. And this symbol is representative of Inspire Change. It literally means to encourage, to change, to inspire. And that's why it's so big and printed on the back. There's a few different colorways. Go check them out guys. Only available right now for a limited time only. Thanks for watching, thank you for supporting us. Let's dive into the video. When you're talking about sort of the influence of other people and that, that knowledge, and we spoke again about it being a spark for some people, like it, it's like a switch, it like flicks for some people. But when we were talking about how, not to, how to stay on the path or how to not get lost, you said that they need to keep that spark alive inside themselves. Um, how, how do they keep the spark alive? If, if there's no external, how do they do that? It is a method that we call, once you feel that spark, that spark or that small fire now needs to be nourished. Nourished in order for it to grow. And yeah, maybe it fits quite well. I had that one TEDx talk. It was the first one, the five hindrances. And those five hindrances are actually describing the mental states that in a way are making it difficult for you to move on, let's say. And I think it fits very well now also with that spark. And one of these things is, if you are self-questioning your, yourself too often, if you are filled with too much doubt all the time, that is definitely one of these hindrances that is going to diminish that fire again. Once the fire is going, the fire is going. So stop investing your thoughts. Stop rethinking about why why it would not work don't stop the fire before it even started really growing yeah and this is that this is this state of you need to get out of that self-questioning you need to learn to sometimes really have confidence in the power of your thoughts once it's in the mind already Everything can become possible if you find the way to translate what is in the mind into action because this transformation makes things come to earth. Everything we have available nowadays on this earth started somewhere here by someone. It started here and then it ended here, meaning there were some actions merge together with what was on the mind to bring it here visible for others and also visible for yourself in front of you not just inside of you and therefore number one to really avoid is self-questioning and having too much doubts about yourself And the other four hindrances, let's say, 
is also um, easily expressed. Don't get caught and carried away too much by positive emotions. Which, meaning, which means you feel that spark and out of whatever reason you have now something that is catching your attention which makes you lose the focus of the spark because there is just something which is giving you too much of a positive feeling. Don't get lost. Don't get lost and drift apart. Don't lose your sight. At the moment we are talking about you want that spark to, to, to grow more. So that means you want something to grow, you need energy to get there. Energy is being directed by the intensity and the depths of your intention. So that means your intention, your focus, your concentration, your efforts, your meditation, your action, your complete way of life, your talking and your thinking should be related to making that small spark grow. And this can only be done by learning really to focus the mind. Don't distract by positive emotions, don't get distracted by negative emotions. And because all of this has something to do with investing effort, effort means you need to do something. You need to bring it out. It's not about passively waiting. There are areas in this life where you are like a passive driver. You're sitting at the back seat, somebody is driving and yeah, you can enjoy the view. But in this case, when you want to make that fire grow, you need to become the driver. This time it's switching. You are not at the back seat. You must be the one directing the thoughts, directing the actions, directing the energy. And that means that that third hindrance, for example, we call it, it is that uh, sloth and torpor, it's called. It's like you are like heavy, mind heavy, body heavy, no motivation. That must go. You want to make that fire grow, these things must go. Yeah. And okay, now how to make something like this grow? It starts with sometimes really simple things of instead of lying the bed in the bed the whole day, stand up. Instead of staying in your room the whole day, go outside in the air. Instead of just walking slowly through the park, start running through the park. Instead of running through the park, put some jumps in, put some more intensity in. So what it means is step by step, do something that you get out of the heaviness. Because it's not going to come flying. And of course you cannot expect someone to make a huge leap from one day to another. But this is why there are steps. This is why sometimes time is also on your side. Step by step. Continuity Trust in the process and trust in the universe or trust in the words. Why I'm telling you this? Because sometimes it's just the action merged with the right intention, which is going to bring the difference. But as long as that first spark is not there, it's difficult to make something grow if there is not that initial spark and that one must be initiated by oneself. If you enjoyed that video, please consider supporting us at mulliganbrothers.com where the new Inspire Change symbol t-shirts are available. The symbol quite literally means to inspire, to encourage, to 
spark change. And with this video today that we're talking about is finding those people who spark change within you. This is a t-shirt I wear on a daily basis to represent exactly that. Not just in what other people do for me, what I do for other people. Remember, move with passion and purpose in your life because you don't know if somebody's watching. If somebody is and they see you doing that with a real intent on your action for passion and with purpose, then you'll just inspire them to move forward in their own endeavors as well. So yeah, the t-shirt is down below, link in the description. And also you can get the not a journal, use code journal for 10% off. And the Memento Mori poster is still 10% off using code STOIC. Thank you for watching. Remember, these are only available for a limited time only. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.